We uh, were very fortunate to have digital photography on the airplane with one camera looking directly forward and the second camera looking directly down. I was actually looking through the video camera imagery and I could actually see as we were approaching it this hole getting bigger and bigger and wider and wider and we actually went right through it and uh, we went right under the hole. And what I found was really interesting at the same time was we were looking, we also looked at the downward moving, the downward viewing uh, camera. And what we could see is just as we crossed underneath that hole, you could see a big band of snow precipitation directly underneath it and not on either side of it. And this was definitely the snow band we were looking at, which had now descended from that area produced by the aircraft up higher, down all the way down to the ground. So they're actually just basically a mass of uh, cloud particles, small cloud particles, which were then converted to ice, and it just they just grew and swept out all the uh, cloud below them. And so propeller aircraft get their forward movement by pushing air back behind it. And when that air is forced back, it cools. And it cools to the point where tiny little water droplets freeze immediately, spontaneously. They don't need ice nuclei, with, which snowflakes need, often need. What happens with uh, a jet aircraft that flies quite quickly, and well, any aircraft, but especially a jet which flies fast, is that air rises over the wings and that causes c cooling. And you often see uh, in tropical areas when you're on an airplane, you land, you see condensation over the wings. Well, the same thing is happening at these lower temperatures. However, the cooling at these lower temperatures also provides a mechanism for freezing the drops by the same mechanism as propeller aircraft. And because jets fly um, high, often above the level where this uh, is an important phenomenon. You don't observe it much, but certainly on takeoff, climb, descent, and uh, regional jets have the ability to produce uh, lots of this cloud seeding phenomena. It's not a major source of uh, snowfall production at the surface, but certainly uh, in regional areas it can be important.